everyone and welcome to another online lesson. Remember, this is unit 5, lesson 3. This is the third video from the unit. Today we are going to work with pages 82, 83 from your textbook, English for you and me. Let's begin. Alright, in this part of the video we are going to practice grammar, subjunctive mood in that clauses, practice writing and practice word formation. Ready? Let's start. Have a look on the screen. I want you to remember the subjunctive mood in that clauses after the verbs expressing suggestions, orders, demands, and requests. This is what we are going to tackle today. So let's have a look at the chart. Let's see the difference. The indicative mood. We have an example there. I will read for you. Our teacher physical education suggested going in for different kinds of sports. Another example. The coach insisted on observing certain requirements. Remember, that was indicative mood. Now let's look at the other column, the subjunctive mood. Our teacher physical education suggested that we should go in for different kinds of sports. See the difference? Suggested going, suggested that we should go. The coach insisted that players should observe certain requirements. Let's look at the other side. The coach insisted on observing certain requirements. See the difference? Let's go further. The sports committee president ordered the coaches to prepare everything for the sports competition. The subjunctive mood. The sports committee president ordered that the coaches should prepare everything for the sports competitions. So, remember, subjunctive mood in that clauses after the verbs expressing suggestions, orders, demands, and requests. Let's continue. Another thing I want you to remember or to take away from this lesson is in that clauses after the verbs order, demand, insist, ask, require, request, suggest, propose, recommend, we use should for all persons plus infinitive without to. Let's look at the example. The National Sports Committee suggested that the results of the latest competitions be discussed. Be discussed. Suggested. Be discussed. What you have below, there is an exercise for you to practice. I want you to paraphrase the sentences below using should plus infinitive without to. Now remember, you always have in front of you the textbook so you can go back and look if you skip something. Now you pause the video and practice individually. Alright everyone, let's check together. Remember the task? You were suggested to paraphrase the sentences below using should plus infinitive without to. I will read the sentences one by one. Pay attention to the words in different colors. The first one. The team's captain ordered that the player should leave the playground. Number two. One of the sportsmen suggested that we should rest at a resort on the Black Sea shore. Number three. One of my classmates proposed that we should arrange a crawling championship. Number four. Mike suggested that we should run every day. Number five, the coach demanded that Julian should be expelled from the team. Number six, the coach ordered that the player should be at the stadium at 6 a.m. Number seven, the teacher demands that school children should wear trainers at PE lessons. Now remember, I asked you to pay attention to the words in another color. Ordered that the players should. Suggested that we should. Proposed that we should. Suggested that we should. Demanded that Julian should. Ordered that the players should. Demands that school children should. What was the task? To paraphrase the sentences below using should plus infinity without to. If you have the same answers, good job. Remember, you can always pause the video and practice one more time. What you see on the screen is another activity for you, but this time, again, I will ask you to work individually. So, the task says that you should open the brackets using what? Subjunctive mood. That's right. 
do it on your own. If you have questions, you can always get back to the grammar part. You can pause the video, start practicing. All right, so practice time again. Another activity for you. Uh, this time we have to form derivatives from the words given below using the suffixes and you can see the suffixes in pink. But before I let you practice uh, for your own, let us practice and have a look at the word formation I have prepared for you below. Of course, I want you to take away or to understand or to remember that we form nouns from adjectives. We also form, form nouns from verbs. We also form adjectives from nouns. And you have the examples below. Important, importance, secret, secrecy, innocent, innocence, desperate, desperation, lonely, loneliness, dark, darkness, improve, improvement, decide, decision, analyze, analysis, remember, analyze, verb, analysis, produce, production, fail, failure, injure, injury, care, Careful, care, careless. Less means without, it's an antonym. Importance, important. Fashion, fashionable. Spice, spicy. Month, monthly. Poison, poisonous. Poison, poisonous. Theater, theatrical. Expense, expensive. Drama, dramatic. Self, selfish. Education, educational. Now it's your time to practice. Remember the task? I want you to form derivatives from the words given below using the suffixes in pink. You can pause the video, take your notebook and try to practice. All right, everyone, let's check together. Remember the task? Form derivatives from the words given below using the suffixes. We have competition, national or nationality, decision, achievement, education, antiquity, Representation, physical, honorable, remember, honorable, silent, <laughs> honorable, requirement, favorable. If you have the same answers, good job, everyone. All right, folks, this is it. We are about to finish unit five, lesson three, video three. But before we say goodbye, let's recap. In Unit 5, Lesson 3, we covered the following. We started with discussion points. We studied active vocabulary. Remember, there were nouns, verbs, adjectives. We, of course, spoke about types of sport. We mentioned team sports. We play, go, do sports, individual athletics. Of course, we read a text and tried to answer the questions after the text. But before that, we brainstormed using KWL chart. We also uh, learned how to make a plan to summarize a text. We also listened to a text and wrote information about it. In this video, we tried to cover subjunctive mood in that clauses. We wrote exercises and of course we tackled the word formation. We learned how to form words from verbs, from adjectives. Thank you for watching. I want to thank all of you. See you in the next video. Remember, keep it simple, less is more. Stay home and stay safe. Bye!